Hi, my name is Harvey Johal, a solutions architect with ClickTech, and today's discussion is going to be focusing on a on a function that you can leverage within ClickView called and mode. So this allows you to have a make selection such as today you can actually find out and say that okay, I want to find out all customers that bought product your A. So I can see all those customers that bought product A and or bought um, maybe product B. So here we're looking at running shoes and ballet shoes. So these customers are, are, are being shown that have bought either running shoes and or bought ballet shoes or both. Right? So you can see that you can do buy either one. And then, but what and mode does is allow you to make selection so you can uh, perform an and operation. You might say that I only want to see all customers that bought running shoes and bought ballet shoes. So you can now focus on just those customers that bought those two products. And and from there, you can actually see that, okay, well, out of this list, these are the products that this customer did not buy. So so now we're looking at green uh, of what we selected, uh, what's associated in white. So these customers have also bought tennis, uh, Terrence tops and tuxedos, but they have not bought root boot or um, maybe this specific dress. So it's one of those things where now we can actually have a maybe a focus campaign and in, in, in one way I have a, a market basket analysis to see what they actually didn't buy. So that there's one of those things that we can now focus on. So you might ask, well how do I do and mode? Well well one of these things is before we finish on taking a look at that, what you also have the ability to do is to make a selection on something else and just by holding our button down, it can turn to red. So now we're looking at green white and red uh, and what that does now is it shows that show me all those customers that bought product A and bought product B but did not buy product C so now this is a list of all those customers that did not buy that that other product so now we can actually find out how to do that so to implement this and we'll we'll, uh, we'll clear our view and we'll delete this field we'll remove this what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some tables and here I have about uh, five tables that are coming from my back-end source I have my customers and order headers and shippers and order details and products and and categories but then I created a new table and then this table is an and mode table so I have to create this on the fly within ClickView and there's specific rules around this and so the rule is that <clears throat> the first field must be a linked field what we want to see because we want to see all products that a customer bought so we want to see customers linked to customer and then we want to see products that are coming from uh, a products table so what I had to do is actually create a temporary table that did my joins for me from customers to order headers to order details and products and then I created a second table that pulled in information from my temporary table which now showed that so to show you this what I've done here Here's all my tables. So I have my customers and my order details and my order header, and then I have categories and products. And then what I've done is I've created a temporary table that did my join for me. So I call I create a temporary table that has my joins. So, so I call this and mode join. And I'm loading two fields from my customer table. So if I look at this, I can see I want to load customer ID and customer because it's my link fields. And I also want to load order ID and join on order ID and customer ID from order header and then order ID and product ID from order details and then product ID and product name from products. So that's the join that I'm making right here. So you can see that. So customer ID and customer from customers. Then I'm joining on my same table that I created my temporary table, order ID and customer ID. As, and then the same thing for order details, product ID and order ID and product ID and product name from products. And then what I do is I create a new table. And this is the table, our and mode table. And that and mode table is now taking a distinct. You have to do the distinct here to bring in customers and product name, and then I'm aliasing that as an and product name. And then I, I bring it in from a table that's already existing, and I drop my drop my first table, this temporary table. And to in, incorporate the and mode is now if I add my and product name, which is what all I really want to see, I can add my and mode product name, and I need to configure it. And what I need to do on properties is I need to enable this option and mode. And as long as that's enabled, I can now see a little and percent in front of each field that I select. And by holding my mouse down, I can unselect and make sure that you know there's also something that's turned in red. So this allows me to now perform my market basket analysis.